personal interest. And I want you to give me your attention just a moment. I was out of the chamber a minute ago when y'all voted on that matter dealing with alcohol. And as I came up the steps, someone asked me if I had walked on that vote. And all of you that have known me in my near 40 years of service here have known I have never walked, I have never sidestepped an issue, have never tried to walk both sides of the street. I come down squarely on one side or the other of every issue. And I was asked out there, what was my stand on liquor? And I want you all to know that when you say liquor, if you mean the devil's brew, the poisonous scourge, the bloody monster that defies innocence, dethrones reason, destroys the home, creates misery and poverty, yes, literally takes the bread from the mouths of children, I'm against it. Now, on the other hand, <laughs> if you are talking about liquor, the oil of conversation, <laughs> the philosophic wine, the ale that is consumed when good fellows get together over dinner, that puts a song in their hearts, and a spring in the old man's step on a cold morning. If you mean the drink that enables a man to magnify his joy and headaches and sorrows, if you mean the drink the sale of which pours millions into our treasury to help the little crippled children, to help our blind, the deaf, and the dumb, to build highways, and hospitals, then certainly I'm for it. <laughs> now I have given you my stand and I clearly come down on that issue in that fashion and I want all of you to know that. <clears throat> now that was given <laughs> that in Mississippi <laughs> so, much, so many years ago, <laughs> 1952. <laughs> Senator Cherokee, what purpose do you have? I do not request that the Senator from Clarence's remarks be placed in the right. <laughs>